patrollers. It's October 27th, Monday, at the Jody Arias uh, sentencing retrial here in Maricopa County. Uh, we left Thursday in a bit of a huff, with the judge excusing everyone early after Juror 17 had been taken into chambers and questioned by both the parties uh, and the judge, apparently. Uh, we were told no jurors had been dismissed at that time uh, by uh, Detective Flores upon uh, a about questioning from one of the media, uh, but we didn't know exactly what was happening. I speculated at the time that the only reason to let the parties go at this time would be something momentous like a motion for a mistrial something the parties had a brief. And sure enough, we find that uh, 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 Kurt Nermy has filed a motion for a mistrial, although on an unusual subject. Uh, we learn that this motion is based on uh, Detective Flores' wife sending DMs to someone unknown in the motion uh, as to these allegedly forged letters where um, Travis Alexander would have admitted some form of pedophilia and abuse uh, as well of Jody. Uh, <coughs> it is now alleged that the state has purposely let these into the uh, social discourse, the motion says, uh, and I guess therefore trying to prejudice the jury. Uh, so that's what that motion's about. We had the uh, testimony, by the way, of uh, Detective Flores with somewhat of a bombshell as well to many who had followed this case very closely. For the first time, some indication that maybe Jody had shot uh, uh, Travis Alexander while he was uh, uh, on the, the floor of the shower. Uh, personally, I don't think any of it matters what trying to do is um, uh, obfuscate, is to try to cloud the issue. The more the jury doesn't know what happens, the more likely they are to say that uh, uh, we just can't give the death penalty because no one knows really what happened. Uh, so we have uh, his testimony continuing today. We don't know if that motion is going to be heard right away or when it will be heard, but we do know what the substance of that motion is, and we still don't know what happened with Juror 17. If she shows up in the box or not, I'm a couple minutes late for court. I better get up there. Jeff Gold for the Gold Patrol. I'll report to you at lunchtime again. Bye.